The UCAS disc diffusion test is based on two media, unsupplemented Müller-Hinton agar and Müller-Hinton agar with 5% mechanically defibrinated horse blood and 20 mg per litre of beta-NAD. This medium is called MHF. Unsupplemented Müller-Hinton agar is used for non-fastidious organisms such as Enterobacteriaceae, Pseudomonas, Staphylococci and Enterococci. The Müller-Hinton F medium is used for fastidious organisms including Haemophilus influenza, Streptococcus species and several others. Make sure that agar plates are at room temperature prior to inoculation. No drops of water should be visible on the surface of the agar or inside the lid. This occurs more often with plates stored in plastic bags or sealed containers. If necessary, dry the plates prior to use. Plates can be dried either at room temperature 20 to 25 degrees Celsius overnight or at 35 degrees Celsius with the lid removed for 15 minutes. Use the McFarlane 0.5 bacterial suspension optimally within 15 minutes and always within 60 minutes of preparation. Plates can be inoculated either by swabbing in three directions or by using a plate rotator. Dip a sterile cotton swab into the suspension. To avoid over-inoculation of gram-negative bacteria, remove excess fluid by turning the swab against the inside of the tube. Spread the inoculum evenly over the entire agar surface, ensuring that there are no gaps between streaks. For gram-positive bacteria, do not turn the swab against the inside of the tube and take particular care to ensure that there are no gaps between streaks. When inoculating plates without a rotator, swab evenly in three directions. A correctly inoculated agar plate will result in confluent lawn of growth with uniformly circular inhibition zones. Jagged zone edges and overlapping inhibition zones will cause reading difficulties. Too light or too heavy inocular will affect zone sizes. Any of these may cause erroneous results.